Welcome back everyone. My name is Zach with Boats Plus. Today we are going to be talking about the Minn Kota Tarova trolling motor using the iPilot and also this cool addition that Minn Kota makes a portable foot pedal. Let's get started. Alright, let's start with turning on the trolling motor and connecting it to the remote. You're going to press the power button on the trolling motor. Come on, it'll give a little beep. Then you're going to press what looks like a check mark on here. Press the little dot right there. And they should be connected to each other from the factory. Now we're going to deploy the trolling motor. Slide this black collar up. And you're going to press the foot pedal right here. Press it down. You're going to release it. Let it go. Slide down. You are ready to go. All right, this is a 2019 model, but most of the buttons on the iPilot are gonna be the same. All right, let's start with the basics. The button that looks like propellers do just that. They engage the propellers, engage the motor. The minus button decreases the power to the trolling motor. The plus increases it. This one goes up to about 10 and will push this boat well. The buttons that look like little arrows, left and right, do just that. The right button will move the trolling motor right. The left button will move the trolling motor left. Those are your basic functions of the iPilot system with this Minn Kota Tarova. Let's dive into some more advanced concepts. All right, let's dive into some more advanced concepts. The first one we're gonna use is the spot lock feature. This button looks like a little anchor. You press it and the trolling motor will know where it's at and will adjust itself accordingly to keep your boat in the same position. It's important to note, however, that the trolling motor only keeps itself in that position. So if you have a current coming, it will turn the boat to go with the current. So it might not keep you in the same orientation that you're in, but it will keep you in the same place. All right, our next two features are usually used in conjunction with each other. The first one is gonna be your bearing lock. This button looks like a little N and an arrow, so north, that's almost what it's saying. Now you can lock this in whatever bearing direction you want. So say I wanna go toward that island tip right there. I'm gonna point the trolling motor toward it, and I'm gonna press the little N button. All right, the trolling motor is now locked on that bearing. It will adjust as it goes to keep me going that direction. The next feature is the target speed lock. It's, it locks the speed of, the, of how fast you're going. It looks like a lot of little buttons, almost like a speedometer with, with an arrow in it. So I'm gonna press it. And so my target right now is 0 0.4 miles per hour. This, is, this trolling motor is going to adjust how fast it needs to go so from 1 to 10 to keep me going in that direction at 0 0.4 miles per hour. If I want to increase it, I simply use the plus button. If I want to decrease it, simply use the minus button. If I want to change my bearing, however, I have to reset the system. So I'm going to press the N button again. Now I need to go, say I want to go toward this tree right here. I'm going to change it. I have to reset it. The speed stays the same, but the bearing is now new. All right, we've gone through some of the basics and some of the more advanced concepts with the iPilot system and this Minn Kota Tarova Riptide. Now, the Minn Kota Tarova does not come with a foot pedal. Sometimes you may want to use a foot pedal when you're casting to a bank or you need to move, maneuver around and you need use of your hands, so like when you're fishing. Well, with, I believe it's 2019 and newer, Minn Kota makes a corded foot pedal that connects directly to your Tarova trolling motor. You simply take this connection and attach it to what most people don't actually know what it is for this little wire coming out. It's for this connection right here. Unscrew that, plug that in, and you now have 
a working foot pedal for your Tarova trolling motor. You can mount it. I don't like to do that because it's supposed to be a portable option. So I'll just throw it down on the deck. It has a few rubber feet to it. And it'll stay in place. Let's dive into using this foot pedal. All right, if you've ever used a foot pedal for a trolling motor before, it's gonna be very similar to that. Exactly the same. So, if you press forward, it's gonna turn the trolling motor right. If you press back, it's gonna turn the trolling motor left. This button right here engages the trolling motor. So we are going at a nice four speed right here. This dial on the side adjusts your power. It goes from zero all the way to 10. You gotta set it in a nice four, turns it on. All right, you can also do those same controls with the bottom. So you have a right button, turns the trolling motor right. You have a left button, turns the trolling motor left. You have a center power button, engages the trolling motor. If you want your trolling motor to constantly stay on at say four, You'll hit the little button over to the side that says con, that's constant speed. Trolling motor will stay at a four speed. You can still adjust it, but you don't have to keep your foot on that pedal. All right, let's turn that, to turn that off, you hit that button again. And to spot lock it, there's a little button right behind the power dial that looks exactly like the iPilot one. It's a little anchor button, you simply, Press, press it, and there you go. It is set in place. It's turning by itself. It is going to keep us right here. And it's as simple as that. This is a nice feature for when you want to go fishing by fishing around docks or something where you can't always use the iPilot remote when you need your hands. So, done for the day, or I'm moving from another, another spot. How do I disconnect it? Simple. Just come down here to the plug. Now I wouldn't move it. You don't have to move this every time you move spots. This foot pedal will stay in its same place. All right. I've got it cord rolled up. This cord will reach, I think it's 20 foot. Just set this here. Now, to pull the trolling motor up, I'm going to press the same pedal. It's going to release it. I'm going to pull it up. Now, there is one tip. Make sure this cord is not wrapped around the shaft of the trolling motor when you pull it up. You want it to lay sideways like that. Pull it up, pull it, it will lock. It's not going anywhere. All right, I'm done for the day. How to turn it off. On the remote, I simply hit the same check mark I used to turn it on. I hold it until it says shutting down. Trolling motor. Simple as press the power button. Trolling motor's off. I slide the collar back down to make sure it doesn't hop around. If, for say, it should pop off. And there we go. It is stored and ready to go. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Comment below what other tips and tricks you want to see and we'll get videos made about them. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.